Shalom, my name is Yeshua Yaakov. Uh, I'm making this recording from Jerusalem. And the purpose of this is to uh, not, uh, it's not to be plaintive, it's to uh, point out a problem uh, in, the, uh, in the media. And that, uh, that problem is the relationship between noise and signal, and let me uh, explain or exemplify uh, uh, what I mean. Uh, we have the Devils Conference, and the attendees are world thought leaders and uh, the chief executives of uh, industry, etc. And uh, everybody's asked, uh, you know, a wonderful question, what will improve the world in 2008? And uh, everybody, uh, these people have all made videos and they answer, they say, oh, we should, uh, we should focus on terrorism and we should focus on the climate change and the world economy and recession, etc. And uh, they're all correct. Not one of them uh, has said specifically uh, this, that, Aleph, Bet, Gimel, uh, sorry, A, B, C, this is what uh, are the problems. And these are the solutions, uh, particularly. That's missing. And this shows a particular uh, deficiency uh, in the world media because the events that are occurring and the problems that we're facing today are beyond the media's capacity to uh, analyze uh, them in a way that they have uh, a grasp or a comprehension of the problem. So they ask the right questions. And in particular, the thought leaders are as well equally unprepared to uh, bring forth answers that are qualitative, that have solutions. And let me give you one specific example. I'm a didactic scientist. That's a fancy word for uh, self-educated, self-trained, multidisciplinary scientist. Uh, okay, and followed uh, major problems uh, of men and mankind for 40 years. You hear in the background, my children are flaming for attention. Uh, and uh, so I apologize for the, uh, the attacks, the, the noise attacks, I should say. And uh, so now to, to uh, uh, the most important uh, problem that we face, uh, that we have faced in the, uh, in the uh, last century, in fact in the millennium, in the last several millennium, is the exile of man and mankind. Well, interestingly, in the last 20 years that problem has changed. Outside, please. Close the door, I asked you. Go. I want you outside. Sarah, discipline your son, please. And so, um, uh, this problem that was exile is no longer exile. It is now uh, the denial of the end of exile, and the solution is no longer uh, redemption of the generality. It is uh, deconstruction of ground zero and the particularity. Well, the change that has occurred is massive. That's never even been reported, not once in any media, by any reporter, any outlet in the world. Now, that's not a coincidence, but even more than that is if that weren't enough, uh, there is a, uh, a development and an event that began in 1991 that has gone completely unnoticed because the media has no capacity to, uh, to not only uh, report it, but to grasp it even. And that is the collapse of the local reality, which is the end of exile, meaning the, the ex exile has ended, and now the problem is no longer um, exile, it is, the, it is the denial of the end of exile, but more importantly, the proof that exile ended, the phenomenon that's occurring is the collapse of the local that's gone unreported. It began in uh, February 26, 1991, uh, with the beginning of the invasion of Iraq when uh, Bush, George Bush Sr. chased uh, Saddam out of, Ku out of Kuwait. The full invasion of Iraq came, of course, 12 years later in March 17th, 2003. Now let's get back to the sequence. From March, from February 26th, 1991, we next have in the same year, on December 25th, 1991, the collapse of the Soviet Union of Communism. What was the local reality in the Soviet Union? And uh, December 25th, 1991, Communism collapsed. Next, we have the collapse of Zionism in Israel. What happened? November 5th, 1995. 
Rabin was murdered. The local reality in Israel collapsed. What was the local reality in Israel? It's Zionism. Uh, on 9-11, we had the World Trade Center collapse. Okay, having said all of these things, and in Lebanon and in the, in the Balkans, we have the phenomenon of the collapse of local reality spreading around the world. And we don't have any reportage. There's no, nobody has reported it. <laughs> when you go to Davos, what? And, and wait, this is more. <laughs> The relationship, this video is to show and to demonstrate the relationship between noise and signal. What we're getting in the media today is, is an increasing noise, and we're filtering out the signal. Uh, specifically, uh, the model, the central organizing uh, principle of economy has for centuries been the division of labor. Well, the collapse of the local reality hit the G9. Uh, and what was the local reality? The model, the industrial model of division of labor. It collapsed under the weight of the price of energy at $100 a barrel. Even though it's dropped down a little, it'll go back up. It's going to stay high. And those, they're not competitive. Did you know, that's the local reality that collapsed in economic terms. Is that been reported? No. What are we getting? We're getting a George Bush, demand stimulus, tweak the interest rates, all of the same noise that we get and the problem of the capital world capital markets, the world capital markets all went into core meltdown. And Wall Street comes out and tries to bluff the world and says, oh, no problem, everything is, we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep charging right ahead. And what are they trying to do? They're trying to walk down the steps instead of free fall. The fact of the matter is the G9 in America is the largest of the G9. They don't have a competitive model of uh, mass production distribution because it's based on the division of labor. The local reality collapsed in respect of the division of labor. The new quantum reality of the new world economy is the integration of labor. That's not reported. Nobody's ever heard of it. It's on the internet, it's on YouTube. You can get, uh, but nobody knows what they're looking at. You know, it's like it's like someone coming into the S, 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 the assessor's office with uh, rocks and the guy, the, the assessor's up. These are worthless rocks. And it turns out that they're Californium 252 and they're worth, uh, you know, $60 billion an ounce. <laughs> I'm sorry, billion dollars an ounce. We just, are, we're just filtering out the signal uh, and saving the noise. And this is the problem of the media today. And as a scientist, I see this and observe this, and I find it to be an exceedingly frustrating uh, experience. It's, what do we do to get the message out? What do we do to wake up the media? What do we do to... YouTube has these videos. They don't know what they've got. They don't know how to... They should be promoting the videos. They should know the difference between noise and signal. In fact, their, their future uh, uh, is going to depend upon their ability to... Uh, to uh, be a purveyor of signal be, because they're able to differentiate between the two. The media, the world media today, is, is, is outside that, uh, uh, that circle of logic. Having said all of this, uh, let me say that my name is Yeshua Yaakov ben Abraham. Uh, some say I'm the agent of change uh, in Jerusalem. Uh, I'm the author of Humanomics in general. What is Humanomics? It's the it's the post-collapse of the local reality east-west convergence model. It's based upon two paradigms, uh, receiving and giving the integration of labor, the first being the new uh, cognitive behavioral science uh, first principle, and the second being the new economic paradigm. Uh, when you combine those two, you have the new east-west convergence model humanomics. Um, uh, receiving to give confirms it's the, uh, the the central thesis it confirms the central thesis of human that the collapse of the local reality is globally and that man and mankind's exile has ended and in receiving to give is its new central organizing principle of redemption uh, and, in, and in secular terms it's the quantum reality uh, having said all of that and, and economics uh, integration of labor is the new central organized principle of the new economy that's it. This is Signal. Come on, folks. Let's get the message out. Again, I'm Yeshu Bitako Ben Amram uh, from Jerusalem. I wish you uh, Shabbat Shalom. Uh, nice to meet you and uh, look forward to hearing from you, seeing you again. Thank you.